Okay. Well, that's done, at least. One headache done. We got Malakath and just the Ashen Capital in the sewers. So, the end is in sight. Malakath should be pretty easy. I don't know why I'm resting. Thanks, Cabo. Uh, we'll do bleed here. Gotta remember, like I've done four of the six bosses we have left already in the uh, new game, and really the only hard one was Radagon, so I can't imagine they're gonna be any worse now. Nice. Uh, I don't even know what that was. That was just like an early roll, and then I spammed out of the roll at the end because I thought I was gonna get hit. We need more bosses like this in this game. Because Malakath is just so good. The only complaint I have about this fight, I think, is like the hitbox. And it's it's not even like Malakath's not the other one like this, but like any boss that's hunched over like this is very awkward to hit. But like it's not that big of a deal. The move set's more important to And I still feel like I don't understand the story, and I've, like, seen so many different interpretations of it. Like, to me, it almost feels like Mirica wanted everything to happen, and, like, she even... I don't know, like, there's always a possibility that she wanted to die just to defy the Golden Order. And, like, she's content with it. But then Radagon's like, no. 
Like, I don't know if she knew it would end up in her death. I don't even know if she's really dead, to be honest. Like, I know she looks pretty dead at the end of the game, but I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I, I can't level. What am I doing? All right, so we're going to do Moog and then Esker, I think. And I always forget how to get to these guys. I don't even know what to use here. Moog is, like, resistant to literally everything. So, I think we'll just use uh, regular arrows for him. Esker, no idea on him. Don't miss this. Okay, I think if you miss that, you die, so... I think we don't want to go there. We want to go towards Moog first, because then you can open up the shortcut. And then Esker is easy to get from there. Like, I think it's, I think it takes longer doing it the other way. So glad that doesn't damage you. Like if that if that dude falling that omen falling back there actually like staggered you, I think it would be just even more annoying to try and get on that ladder. Is this the right way? I think this is the right way. I always get lost here. I go up. There should be an omen right here. This guy's annoying to get past. Can I climb? Can I climb? Maybe? No? No. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm alive. Dude, look at his sword. That thing is massive. Yeah, that, that dude's sketchy to get past, but now we have the shortcut. Now we can go wherever. We can go to Moog. Or Esker, it doesn't really matter. I have Esker on my list first. We'll do Esker first. Don't remember how to get to him, though. This way? Uh, I think so. This is A way. Then hop to here if I can I live? Oh thank you. This is bad. I know there's a uh, fire pillar is right here. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, it's it.
So we got two hours to finish five bosses. Like, it really just depends on Radagon. If Radagon is easy, then it'll be fine. But, like, everything else should be okay. Not unreasonably long. The Radagon, for some reason, is just really hard with a vocal. I, I, it, the only reason, I think, is because he can parry your arrows, so you can't really safely hit him from range consistently. You can, it's just you have to wait for, like, specific attacks. Plus, you deal, like, no damage to him. So it kind of just draws the fight out. And it's very easy to die, but I I think I'm going to be in better shape because I have more flasks. I'm going to have cold arrows. I didn't hit the switch. I'm an idiot. I got to literally run all the way through this again. Cannot believe I didn't grab the switch. Oh. Just shoot one, not two. It's kind of nice. You can actually, if you jump the like the right way onto that pillar, you can not even have to worry about attacking it again. It's kind of tricky though. Like you have to jump and brush the edge of it. Don't always get that. Switch, switch, switch right here. I can't believe I missed this. Because the only purpose of going around is to hit that. At least these dogs will go down easy. Esker, on the other hand. It's like fighting the Sanguine Noble again, pretty much. But with more flies, I guess. Or with flies. Yeah, let's get some more jumping attacks. More flies, please. I love flies. Love swarm of flies. Apparently, I don't love it that much because I couldn't hit them there. Ugh. Dude. The NPC enemies are like the worst for for these, like easily, 100%. Till they do a jump attack. Or like cast something, like Gideon's gonna be the same, same thing. He's just gonna roll through all my attacks. Does Esker not heal? He's just, I, I, he's spam rolling. I'm not even like hitting a button. He's just rolling twice. Now 
No, I, I, I hit the button twice and he rolled like seven times. This is a, a this is a DS3 play right here. <laughs> All he's doing. Okay. Wait, no, we wanted the catacombs. Wait, wait, I didn't get the oh, I didn't get the underside grace or whatever it's called. It's fine. That's fine. It's not like it's that far. How did I forget this? It is kind of nice, too, that you can still fight uh, Moog the Omen without having to... Like, after having done the regular Moog, because that would suck otherwise, because I'd have to change the order. Changing the order isn't bad, but, like, say, for example, I couldn't do it now and I didn't know it, then I wouldn't be able to do them at all. Is it this way? <laughs> I don't remember. I never remember. Um, I don't think it's here. Oh, it is here, but it's not this hole. It's the other... I missed... here. The unfortunate thing is, this is like one of the better bows, right? Because it's so fast. So I kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed we started off with like the best bow that you could use. Like it's basically a short bow disguised as a long bow. So like any other long bow is going to be worse because it's going to be slower. And any other short bow is going to be worse because it's going to deal less damage. So pretty lucky overall. So that's like I, why I wish it was, you know, we did a harder one first, but. The way it goes, the randomize option. That was stupid. All right, it's literally just phase one on mode. This is easy. I'm still gonna end up dying somehow because I get greedy and careless. Kind of a theme, dude. I know this isn't like the uh, 
load proper, but like even still, the melody's still the same. Just no choir. This is like a mode credits theme, almost. That's gonna hit me. That's actually good to know. <laughs> Passage. Okay. Uh, yeah, we get to go do Gideon now. Hooray! Final three. What to do for Gideon? I could do bleed. I wonder if you can put him to sleep. I might try it, it actually could work. Oh, I shouldn't actually rest. Would be nice, just to, you know, get a couple more arrows in. I think it just stuns you, pretty much. He might be immune to it for all I know, but like he's an NPC, I don't I don't think he would be. But I really don't know. What's this? Runark? Runark. Super helpful. Not really. I, I don't even have a great nerd equipped. I hate this fight. <laughs> I say it every time, but it's true every time. Definitely easier with a bow, though. Right, go to sleep. And it didn't do anything. Gave me like an extra shot, maybe. Actually, that attack is really good because I can hit him like a bunch. That attack's good too. Like, there are good attacks here. Just he does so much damage. See a thing. That's a good attack. Basically, Moger Melania's attack. Like honestly, this Gideon's easier than the one in New Game. Because I don't do like Moger Melania or like a. I put him to sleep again. Yeah, I'm gonna miss all these arrows. 
I didn't think he would hit me with that. I was trying to cast an arrow. What are you doing? Yeah, it just stuns you. It doesn't even really do much. God, he can't heal himself more than once. Imagine if he had a healing incantation. In the middle of all this. Again, thought I was out of range of that. It's, it's larger than I expect. One more, thank you. In my bones, a tarnished cannot become a lord. Not even you, a man. All right. Oh, two more. Yeah, this uh, this playthrough has been much faster. I wouldn't say much faster, but like it's definitely been faster than the other two. And I think it's because like new game was pretty quick. New game plus has taken more time, I'd say, than like the first playthroughs. New game plus because like I don't know, it, it just takes forever to kill some of these bosses with bows. Reichardt was definitely faster this time around than either either of the first two, but like. If I used, like, bleed or uh, frost arrows more, it might have gone faster, but it's fine. Like, I, I had very little trouble with anything this run. Like, the only thing that gave me trouble, even till now, till we 163 bosses in New Game Plus and all of New Game was Radagon. I'm gonna try and do this without the bleed arrows, but it, it won't, you know, without a full stock, I should say, bleed arrows. Obviously, I'm using them now, but. Once they're out, they're out. And I won't need them for Radagon, so I'm hoping we can just do this now, and then. We'll be good. But we'll see. They're pretty bad on their own. Like, you really need a bleed proc. I didn't see it. Bleed. Bleed, please. That sucks. Still have cold arrows. I 
keep thinking that's not gonna hit me. Face two? No? Okay. Early, but I was far enough away, I think they did. I mean, kind of lucky. trying to attack and I just kind of forgot about the whole oh my dad that sucks I'm gonna go get more bleed arrows I think 60 will probably be enough or whatever we'll do like one trip around Fort Height that'll be enough And if we die again, we'll do the same thing. One, uh, one trek around here. I'll probably need more frost arrows too, which, well, now that I know where to actually get those, and I've seen how many uh, materials you can get from that, like that'll be easy. Three. What the hell is this guy doing? I never noticed him. Has he always been there? I, I, I don't think I've ever seen that dude. Another 60 of these. Not what I meant to do. I think, hopefully this is enough for like three procs. And if I had three procs, I think last time I would have killed them. How are these missing? Bleed does not do as much as I thought it did. I wonder if specking arcane would have been good too. 
I don't really know how that works with like anything like bleed or poison or whatever. I don't know if it just makes it easier to proc or if it actually gives it more damage. Actually hit any of these shots. I rolled late there, <laughs> so I'm kind of Surprised he didn't take me for a ride. Lead. Thank you. I'm not even gonna bother with the uh, leader as well. Just use regular. Oh, we got staggered. I have no stamina. arrows or rhymed crystal buds whatever they're called rimmed rhymed i think it's rimmed but for some reason r-i-m-e-d looks weird to me i feel like rimmed would be r-i-m-m -M, so i think it might be rhymed i don't know i think they respawn i hope they respawn Yeah, if we finish this in, like, the next half hour, um, I will start the next run. Otherwise, we'll just wait until tomorrow. Which means we pretty much have to do it in, like, three attempts because of how long this fight's going to take. Radagon's tough, though. This is, I'd say, the toughest boss in the run, and it's, of course, the last one. Like, I think any bow build is going to struggle with Radagon, and um, anything with, like, significant holy damage also will struggle with Radagon. Okay, give me uh, all these. Nine. Oh, it's 90, right? 90 arrows. So we're good for now, anyway. This should get, like, through maybe three attempts or... It depend I don't know how many I'm going to use, so it really, it really depends. I'm going to start with Rot. Um, should I buy more Beast Bones, I wonder? While I have these runes? I don't even know where they are. Where? Where? Here. Oh, I still have them. Wow. Now we're good. I have almost 1,800. I've gone through like 200.
Fairy time, my favorite. I guess don't shoot, that's fine too. I hit the button to shoot, but... Please be rotted. It takes so long to rot him. Like, it, it took a long time to poison him. I imagine it's gonna be similar to rot him. not just shoot, like, constantly, too, because he can parry. Still not rotted. Nothing, huh? It took a long time to poison him, though, so I don't know why I'm surprised. I think he's just like super resistant to thrust attacks, dude. That must be why these arrows deal like 150 damage, not even. There we go. You literally just can't shoot him at all if he's facing you and just standing like that. You have to get lucky when him either just having finished an attack or like... I don't know. Like now you can hit him. No, I'm screwed. I was gonna run towards him. But... It's fine. Don't need to. The rocks are getting worked. And the rot's done? Nope, rot's still going. Attack, please. That's fine. Rot's done. Hell no. I don't think he can freeze again until I need to put like fire arrows on or something. I didn't even know he could teleport out of that attack. That won't hit me, surely. Any fire. Oh, nice. Not frozen anymore. I feel like you can run around that. If you're not locked on, I think it's a lot easier. I don't know how that did hit me. This is good. Also good. Now just a long fight with Elden Beast. Because nothing works on him. Just no bleed, no frost, no gold, no rot. Please don't light me on fire. Just a million arrows.
Oh, this attack is bad. I feel like half the time I dodge that, I just get lucky. Like, I, I, I don't know how to dodge it. I know you don't want to be, like, in medium range there. You either want to be super far away or, like, in his face. Because if you're in medium range, like, you're gonna get hit by that and probably die. It does that much damage. Gotta be kidding me. Where is he even gonna spawn? Here? I wish I had lightning arrows. I feel like those would be good because of the water, but I like, don't want to say that. I, I can't imagine they'd be worse than fire hero. stars any second now we pray you can't even like run from it because it just like speeds towards you and then it slows down for some reason I don't really understand how it works but, like it's so far behind me now oh that's incredibly bad timing on Elven Stars part. That was almost bad. <laughs> that was almost really bad. Okay. And we just pray no more Elven Stars. It should be over. I should have saved some stamina for this, but whatever. See, yep, I was gonna say he's at the wall. I wish the walls were easier to see here. That's one of the most annoying things about the arena. I tried to get an attack in there. <laughs> Thought I had time. No more Elven Stars, please. I can see another one happening, though, just because this is kind of been dragging on. Up he goes. Again, he, I've, I've never seen this attack this many times in this fight. It's like the fourth time. All 
And even if he does Elden... Actually, if he did Elden's Farms, that'd be kind of nice, because... Nice he's dead anyways. <sighs> Alright, Black Bow is done.